Carl and welcome back to my YouTube video series on Ryobi tools. This is the Ryobi PVL54K LED pivoting laser flashlight kit. 625 lumens. So let's see here. Pivoting head, laser, magnetic three modes, moisture resistant. Now I've already opened this. To save us a little bit of time on this video. There we go. Get this out of here. Boy, that was a struggle. Okay, here we go. What do we have in this kit? We have the instruction manual. We have the power cord. We have the battery. And we have the flashlight itself. So, just a generic type C power cord. Approximately 18 inches long. I'm going to put that aside. This is the battery. I'm going to put that aside because I've already got one charged up and ready to go right here. Put that aside. Let's look at the tool itself. It does have a pivoting head. You hear that little... where It doesn't really lock in place. But it gives it a nice little resting spot. There you go, you can, whichever way you need to use it. Magnetic base, right here. I will show you that in just one moment. You've got a pocket clip, on and off switch right here. The laser is right here on top. This is where you put the battery in. Very self-explanatory on that part. Let's see here. Nice size to it. Look, it's too big to carry on your shirt pocket. But you could carry this in your front pocket if need to be, or overalls, or your belt, anything like that. There we go. Now this is the brother or sister to to this flashlight. Looks almost identical. So far, it does not have the pivoting head. This does not. This does have the pivoting head. So if you've seen these, you've basically seen this. Very, very minor differences. There we go. Turn it up right here. There we go. So the only thing that really makes it longer is the pivoting head and the magnetic base on the bottom. Let's put that way right there. Hmm. Huh. Go ahead and open this up. Put the battery in. Twist it shut. It's got a high and a low and a laser. High, low. I 
have to figure out how to put that laser on without reading the directions. See what happens if I hold the button in for a little bit. Nothing. Oh, there's the laser. See it on my hand. So this would be a great cat toy. I don't think I really need a laser for any other thing around here. Not right now. I don't know how long the distance is for the laser. But the end of my room, the back porch, is about 25 feet that way. About 25 feet. There you go. I'm sorry. About 25 feet that way. And there is something on the wall over there, so I can see the laser dot on a chair cushion over there. So. Hmm. I don't know how much I will use that. But it is a good feature to have. There we go. Like I said earlier, it is a little bit too big for a shirt pocket. Too heavy for a shirt pocket also. Hold the button in and the laser goes off. Hmm. I like this. It should be sufficient enough for what I need it to use it for. On sale at Home Depot. They call it the Black Friday event. I believe it's regular $49 and it was $29 on sale. So, let's do a little test on this at night. I got some trees in my backyard. Oh, about 25 yards away. And we're going to go out there tonight and see if we can spot us some raccoon eyes or a squirrel in a tree or look at some limbs, leaves or whatever. We're going to take it outside tonight and I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Okay, here I am outside with the light on pointing towards the ground right here. So let's see what we can see out here. Here we go, going to the trees. There we go. There's that tree. Come back down this way. There's one of my little workshops right there. Some more trees this way. Big tree right there. Now this is on high. So let's put it on low. If I can find the button here. Hard to do this in the dark. There we go. Soft. High. Low. Okay, there's the workshop. Off. Got the laser on it. See the laser moving right there? High, low, laser right there on the ground. So that laser goes a pretty long ways. So, there we go. Come back over this way. So, off, high. So I'm pretty happy with this thing. It should be good for what I need it for. Got another tree right there. There we 
There we go. That's a reflection off the barn, one of the signs on the barn. Oh, those are license plates right there on the right. Anyway, I'm happy with it. Okay, I'm back. What do you think about that? I don't know if this would be good for using that as uh, for lighting on a camera. But, for what it's made for, I'm not sure it would be perfect for that. I'm not unhappy with this at all. This will be used a lot. Might even keep it in my truck. Might keep one of these in my vehicle, I'm not sure. Probably this one, since it's magnetic. Hmm. What do you think about this? If you have one of these, let us know how you like yours. And before we go, I'm going to disconnect this camera off of the tripod up here. And we are going to walk over to a filing cabinet I have over here in the corner on the end of my back porch. Here is a filing cabinet. There we go. It is on there pretty good. So let me turn it on. That's on high. Point it down. Point it up. So you can see where this would be good for your automobile. Doing some work at night on your car. Changing the tire or anything like that. My name is Carl and I do appreciate you watching.